time to make a de decision. Am I going to try to remove the roller? Well, the thing, and maybe that helps you as well, the thing that's really assuring for me and makes this profession survivable, the thing that is reassuring for me, the balance staff is already broke. Well, that pivot is broken and that pivot is broken. That is reassuring. Now I have to decide am I going to remove, trying to remove this roller? Because the table is so much smaller than this, it cannot be one part. So I think this disc is friction fit to the balance staff in the traditional way we still use today. It's so highly polished, it's beautiful. Well, I have this tool. The holes are all different sizes uh, on both sides. So now I'm trying to grip the outside. Let's try to grip it from the outside like this. Yeah, do you see that? It is not one part. It was friction fit. Perfect. Again, just like it is now. But if you have to think about the accuracy at the time making this, it is mind-blowing. Oh, and they cheated. <laughs> Somebody cheated with Shellac. <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> oh, I love that. Ah, again, a step closer to just the balance staff. This bit is the balance staff. The pivots, here is where the roller was. This bit is the table. It's got upside down. There is the table. This is the balance rim. And that is riveted to the balance staff. Okay. So this tiny bit ridge there is the rivet, um, uh, just a tiny, tiny bit that, and gripping the balance rim, table, balance rim, and the balance stuff. This is all one piece, except this one here. So I want to tap it out. But I really have to support the balance rim. So it's unusual. Yeah. It's unusual that the table is the same diameter than the balance rim. Because now I have to support it just on the spokes and not here on the real thick heavy part and I do have to support it. In the Dutch watchmaking school I was taught you place this bit in a lathe with a call it grip it and here with a cutter you cut away the table over here. And then you can tap it from the inside out. So you don't have to break this rivet. Which, yeah, you can make a case for it. But I want to have the complete balance stuff uh, in one piece. I want all the dimensions. If I remove this one, it's very hard 
to guess uh, the exact height. So this bit over here. And this rivet is just a slither of material. Uh, hardly anything. And with a stake I can push here, not on the balance rim. So I can tap it easily out, but I have to support it on the spokes. And that's what we're going to do. And I'm going to use an. Uh, not going to push it there, I'm going to push it there. That's it. There's the balance stuff. The balance wheel is resting on the surface. And now I found. I didn't want to use the flat one, but it's slightly. There's a slight curve to it. Like that. And that is just fitting over because I really do not want to apply force to the pivot because we really need the dimensions. So I really want to tap on this straight heavy part of the balance wheel. And then I can tap it out. But first with a reamer I would like to make the hole nice and straight. So the bevel stuff fit through and then just one tap and then I detached the balance staff from the balance rim. I just cleaned the inside. All the gunk is out. <laughs> you can see in the inside of the other holes. A bit of chamfering so it centers. There's no space under the spokes, so no wobbly. Now I want to tap on that surface just besides the Pivot. Let's do it to it. Here it comes. Very happy with that result. The complete original balance staff. There we are. And maybe more important, balance rim is completely intact. There is the lathe because we are going to use the uh, modern one. Uh, Richard uh, Foster Dingley has made a frequency converter on the electric motor. So with uh, low revolutions we still have the torque we need and usually with um, uh, working on a lathe the harder the material you want lower uh, revolutions. There is another lathe there but that one we only use for uh, watch cases and uh, finishing and over there we have the microscope and the camera we are going to use for and we are going to do a live stream for making this particular 200 year old balance staff. Please like and subscribe that is very helpful. Uh, have a look on uh, YouTube channel Chronoglide for far more videos about watchmaking and beautiful uh, vintage watches. Have a good night. Thank you so much for your attention. Um, 
and hope to see you next week every Tuesday half past 8 Central European time. 